What is the purpose of this physical life and do our ancestors help guide and protect us in this realm? The purpose of this physical life is for you to master the, the, the material or the physical realm, which is the lowest one, yeah, in terms of mastery, because as you're supposed to elevate yourself to become to be a supreme being, or you were a supreme being if you're a Nagaru or Negroid and you've fallen down. So everyone's ability to master this realm is partly why you're here, yeah, because you have the physical realm, right? You have the spiritual realm, you have the soul realm, you have the mental realm, and you keep going up all the way to the different etheric realms, nine ether, nine levels of them. So the lowest vibration or the lowest one is the physical realm or the material plane. You have different planes as well. So um, that's the purpose, first of all, to master this, because as a species, we have to evolve. We have to become a level four species, meaning that we're supposed to master everything to do with the planet, and then that's level one. Then we're supposed to master everything to do with the solar system we're in, and then that's level two. Then you're supposed to master the galaxy you're in, level three. Level four, you master the universe you're in. And then, obviously, each every time you elevate, um, and to do that, to master, let's say, the galaxy, you've got to be able to travel intergalactically between different galaxies and you need to be able to travel interstellar. This is why the, we have to evolve with our technology, with everything we do, our minds have to be opened up. You know, we're not using a lot of our brains at the moment, whereas extraterrestrials that have evolved past where we are at, they've moved on. They have learned how to travel intergalactically, interdimensionally. They come from different galaxies, different universes, and the multiverses and the omniverses. So, the material plane or the physical plane is one that you need to master to elevate and move up. Um, also, you have a purpose to fulfill. You know, you might be needed to like bring a piece of the puzzle or to do something here that will help somebody else or something else to elevate. So, um, one of the purposes for us is, uh, is to teach Wu Sabat. Because Wu Sabat is the answer and the solution in this day and time for everyone who is willing to accept Wu Sabat. So our purpose, our job collectively is to teach Wu Sabat. And you can't teach it if you don't know it or if you're not studying or if you don't read the book. So how are you going to teach it? You know, And that's why Wu Sabat can basically cater to anyone who's willing to listen and who's willing to apply it because it's not just about talking and reading the books. It's also about putting into action. And you do that by way of your example, and then you teach other people, and everyone teaches, and we spread the word. And we assist in Dr. Malachi Ziyot Panabai Bianun as student teachers of the master teacher to spread Wu Sabat. So, you know, so I love doing this. I do this pretty much every day because there's nothing more rewarding than truth, to spread truth, you know. There are going to be people who are going to say it's not the truth and dispute it or whatever. That's fine. But truth is truth. You can't argue with that. So, um, but yeah, that's your purpose. Um, there was a second part, I think, to that. Um, the second part was, and do our ancestors help guide and protect us in this realm? Yes, they do. Now, the problem is that people think their ancestors are like separate from them. You're actually connected to them. The, diff the problem is that you've cut them off or... The world has made you to disconnect from them. And so even though they're there, you're not receiving their help because it's like you're not connected to them. It's like, um, let me give you an example, like a phone call. If you have somebody's phone number and you call them and you connect with them, you guys can talk, they can help you and you can exchange energy, communication, knowledge, whatever, and they can guide you. If someone cuts off your phone, it's like, or gives you the wrong number, you're going to be dialing the number, but you're not going to get through. So the way you connect with your ancestors is to first of all, recognize that they exist, recognize that you are part of them because they're your bloodline, recognize that you're connected to them and you've got to just build that connection, repair the, the broken line, if you like, so that you can actually get them to work with you. So yes, they will help you, but you have to tune your ears so you can listen to their frequency, so you can hear their voices. Because 
a lot of times you hear voices in your head, right? We spoke about that already. You hear many voices. You have to be able to know which is your voice and which is the voices or the voices that are agreeable from your ancestors. And you have to know the voices that are disagreeable. And you have to know the voices that are not even part of your bloodline or your family or your familiar spirits. We say family, yeah? These are external voices because like frequencies can be sent and you can pick them up. So sometimes it doesn't even come from you. So yeah, it's about, again, elevating yourself to know what voices you're hearing. And one of the ways you can help, one of the ways you can um, help yourself to basically recognize them is every time you hear a voice or you hear someone trying to influence you to do something where there's a strong pull, where you're fighting it, like say someone's telling you to do something disagreeable, and you recognize that, label it with a color or a name or something. Like, I don't know, let's say it's a negative thought. You can go, okay, that's, that's negative red, for example. Uh, or you can give them names like, okay, that's Uncle Sam. He used to like smoking, so he's trying to get me to smoke. I don't want to smoke no more. So you label him Uncle Sam. Next time, you know, another agreeable voice, you label them. And eventually now you get to a point where you will know. Okay, okay, that's Uncle Sam, he's trying it again, so <laughs> cut them off, you know. So you've got to find ways of finding out which voices are, um, are coming to you. Okay.